Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. The building directly behind me was able to stand before its erection, and I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says... What exactly is architecture? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a buttload of bottle caps. Today, I am going to show you how to make your very own wicked cool bottle cap tower right at home. So, of course, the first thing you're going to need. That's right, a whole bunch of bottle caps. <laughs> I'm using these ones, these pot bottle caps. All right, I'm going to take the bottle caps, stack them like this, but this time, I'm going to alternate them back and forth like that. And it should work, because I based this idea on a tower I saw when I was in Malaysia. And it should work. Well, because, you know, otherwise the tower that's there right now wouldn't be standing. Whoa, now check that out. Look at that. Look how tall of a tower I made. You were hoping it was going to fall, weren't you? Yeah, you were. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Check that out. <laughs> oh. Oh. What does this have to do with architecture, anyway? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Architecture is the design and construction of buildings. When architects build buildings, they first use three major design plans, which will be used to make a 3D model of the building. First, they use what's called an elevation plan. This shows how high the building will be once completed. Second, they use what's called a section plan. This shows the inside of the building and its different sections or levels. Third, they use a floor plan. This shows what the floor layout will be like when you walk into the different rooms and where certain utilities and facilities will be located. When architects finish their building plans, they have three major decisions to make. First, they use computer programs to figure out what materials they'll be using to build the building. They want a material that will last long periods of time that is robust and won't fall down during major weather or major geological activity. Second, they have to decide if the construction of the building is going to be cost effective. They want to use materials that will be cheap but not so cheap that the building will need to be repaired continuously. Third, they want to make sure the building is pleasing to look at. Since people are going to be walking by as well as using the interior, architects want to make sure the building is not only amazing to the brain and pleasing to the eye, but that the building will be comfortable while in use. So now you know how architects are able to build buildings like this. You know, making your own bottle cap tower right at home is why science is so cool.